beautiful soul. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome, if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Christine. Welcome to another All Signs reading, All Signs Tarot reading, I should say. All Signs Love Tarot reading, All Signs Love reading, and as is pretty much always the case here at the Tarot Closet, all zodiac signs love messages reading, channeled love messages from your person, messages from their higher self. This is a timeless reading. You're here when you're meant to be here. I'm channeling for you in real time in November 2023. So you could be here in November 2023, but you could also be here many, many months, even years later. I want to show you what's at the bottom of the deck here. Because you're here when you're meant to be here. This is a faded connection between you and I. It means there's a message here for you. So welcome again. The Page of Swords wanting to make an appearance. Somebody here is keeping a close eye on you. Getting ready to what? Come here with some truth. Look, holding on to that sword. Transactional energy, clarity, truth, information. Page at the moment is watching. So let's see where this is going. Interesting. <laughs> that the page wanted to show itself. Yeah, we just saw the four of wands in reverse, but that was far too many. That was just me being clumsy, I have to tell you. We'll see, though, if it comes back, Venus and Aries energy. I mean, that's a disconnection there. It can't even be that somebody had, well, moved out of a physical location, but left the connection. Even maybe some arguing going on. Interesting. So that did appear, but that was also really just clumsy shuffling, I have to tell you. Okay, so welcome again. All the decks that are coming in today, you'll find them down in the description. You'll also find all the playlists, all zodiac signs are down there. And of course, the playlist connected to today's all signs love reading. And that's called Love Tarot. Love tarot reading, love tarot readings and messages from your person, that playlist. If you're on a twin flame journey, there are very long, very in-depth twin flame readings below and a lot, a lot of other playlists. So feel free to check them out if you're inspired to do so. Queen of Swords, somebody coming in here with the truth. Look at that. Libra ruled by Venus energy here. Queen of Swords is saying, I need the truth. I need total honesty. And somebody's coming in here. Also, in order for things to begin again, are they coming in with the truth? Because this is clean slate energy. It's the Fool. It's Aquarius and Uranus energy. It's taking a chance. So are you needing that first? Have you put an ultimatum out? Or are they just coming in here with that? Let's see what's going on. Aquarius and Uranus energy, of course, with that Fool card. Remember, this is a general tarot reading, so take what resonates for you and let the rest go. I would be really grateful and appreciate it so much if you could take the time to like today's video. As they say, smash that like button. <laughs> I always sound, I always feel really funny saying that, but yeah, watching, liking, sharing videos really helps keep the channel moving. And of course, subscribing to the Tarot Closet and having the notifications on will let you know when I'm uploading videos that you might be interested in. So thank you so much for that. Thank you for being here. Let's see what's going on. We already saw that page of swords kind of peeking in here. So thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards. Aho. It's the five of cups in reverse. Mars and Scorpio energy. Yeah, so they're they're watching. We saw that. They're also coming in here asking for forgiveness. We also saw that in the full energy in the Queen of Swords. So they're coming in here with the truth. It's a healing energy and it's really strongly connected to that full card energy of wanting a new start. It's clean slate energy. So they're asking for forgiveness here. What went on? What do they need to be forgiven for? Well, they're coming in with a lot of feelings. Have they been suppressing them? Because the King of Cups, it's Pisces energy, is the master of emotions, can hold back quite a, few, quite a lot of feelings. Look, they're sitting on their throne. It, it looks a lot, of, <laughs> a lot of emotion here, and they're just la 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 holding on to their cup. 
It's coming in here in the partnership placement. We saw that full energy. We saw the Queen of Swords and we see them coming in here with the Five of Cups in reverse. And I want to tell you too, what are they asking for forgiveness for? This is yours. We're going to get it in, in just a minute here. Because within the Five of Cups, we're also seeing the Three of Cups in reverse, you know, and alongside the Two of Cups in reverse. So this is validation of no contact, no communication and or in separation in terms of your reading. But it's also telling us there may have been some arguing around when things were ending or even maybe part of why. They are asking for forgiveness here. So that's the separation, this Two of Cups, the Venus and Cancer energy. Um, in reverse here, again, in the Three of Cups. And I want to tell you, too, there is an energy maybe of somebody who's been partaking in a little bit of something, then that's why some things were said. It's not, you know, it's not going to be for everybody, but that is here. And if that is for you, then there's a validation here for you. And it can't even have been that it was around friends and family. For some of you that there might have been some messages or phone calls that were going back and forth. But they're coming in here. I like this in, well, in a, an emotionally open and supportive way. So this is really, this is an, a nice energy. I like that. The Eight of Swords showing in reverse, Jupiter and Gemini energy. So yeah, there's a, this is a coming out of what they've been holding themselves back for. And it's swords, you know, and that's around transactional energy, clarity, communication, you know, words, truths being held back. We saw that Queen of Swords coming in and we see them asking for forgiveness around whatever was said or not said and possibly even some emotions that were being held back or just holding back from communicating or communicating around what's the connection because this is Jupiter energy and that is well the biggest planet and it's the planet of prosperity and expansion you know wisdom information hope growth a lot of things they put themselves here away from the Jupiter energy holding back, but communication, there it's a release here. So you can see that. It's a validation of what is coming in. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse, the Moon in reverse, Pisces energy, Gemini and Cancer coming through. So Nine of Pentacles in reverse also really isn't surprising. It's Virgo and Mercury energy. And this is... Well, look, the King of Cups is looking right down at it, and it's also connecting with the moon. So a lot of what put this connection where it is, I want to say, is, of course, tied to the emotional energy. And it's, well, it's actually quite strong because the moon is in reverse here. This is where your person's energy is the strongest. Of course, they're everywhere in your reading, but it's the strongest here at the tarot closet. And this is the clarity that they have, and this is the truth coming. So we saw that. In the Queen of Swords, what is the truth? Well, it's a, a lot around their emotions. So that's coming in. It's clear. Were they holding back? Was that why? Uh, for some of you, maybe there was some arguing or things broke up. Because you can see quite literally they're asking for forgiveness. And it's around the emotional energy. And it's the truth coming to you. And it's why we're seeing the Nine of Pentacles here in reverse. Because this is kind of like setbacks in the connection. The Pentacle energy. Things not developing and moving forward here as you see with these grapes which is connecting us to the king of pentacles as well it can be that there was some jealousy here and it can't even be that somebody's been has been or is overworking the knight of wands is wanting to reveal at the bottom of the deck and this is well it's leo energy and it's in reverse so it's kind of an impulsive energy so can it be that they're popping in here asking for, for, for forgiveness, and you're not expecting it, of course. But it can also be around some impulsive energy of what has been going on here, you know? Because the moon energy, of course, is around all the emotions, and it's around a lot of things that have been getting hidden and suppressed. I think this King of Cups might have been in reverse. Because they, they have the clarity, and the truth is coming to you. We saw that in the Queen of Swords, and it's it's a validation, and it's around all this why the Nine of Pentacles is here. Were some of you getting close to the Ten of Pentacles or were you in it, a long-term energy? You know, did you come out of it? Did it stop? Did it stop growing? Did it stop moving forward? Were you waiting for it to go further? Because the energy of coming, of coming back 
them coming in here is quite strong. What exactly they're being, they're bringing besides an apology because they're asking for forgiveness, the hangman energy. Okay. The nine of cups in the upright. So wish fulfillment here. This is, well, yeah, it's Jupiter and Pisces energy. So there's more of that Jupiter energy, the planet of prosperity, expansion. This is Pisces energy, but it also connects us to Sagittarius. And that's a turning point as well. That's bringing in with Jupiter some, I want to say some luck, optimism, some wisdom, some growth, things moving again. Here's nine cups. Were you in the Ten of Cups? Were you just shy of that? Were you working toward that? Or was it on the table? Because it's back. Wish fulfillment in the partnership placement. And it's coming in with this King of Swords. So a lot of actually really beautiful emotional energy. And is this what you've been waiting for? The truth to heal how hear how they feel? Because it's been, there's an indecisive energy here. There is a, you know, not really moving forward energy here in the hangman energy. It's been a period of uncertainty. There is an only time will tell energy. And here's the thing, you know, the Nine of Cups is coming here with the King of Cups, but it's also Caddy Corner here with the Five of Cups in reverse. And this is this is asking for forgiveness and wanting wanting a new start. This is clean slate energy. It's the full energy. We see here also, you know, look, it's Caddy corner, and it's also right here on the other side of the moon energy in reverse of what happened here. So it's kind of like rectifying that, you know, of bringing in whatever happened here. It's, it's, well, yeah, it's the truth coming. It's, it's the truth coming. It's you receiving the clarity. It's also them having the clarity here. That's what they're working on here in the hangman energy. You know, this is a 12, of course, that's, it's a three, and that's divine timing. Communication, growth, literally here, working things out. Look at that crown chakra here going. And of course, that's connecting to source, which is what is going on. And finding a solution, working things out. How long have they been in this energy? You know, getting this perspective. Um, whatever the case is, they're, they're getting ready to come out of this. You can see that and bring forward Hear the truth, which is what you've been waiting for. So that just slid out somewhere randomly in the middle of the deck, also showing the Empress here. So this King of Cups is coming in with communication. It's really clear. It's the Eight of Wands in the upright, and this is Mercury and Sagittarius energy. So it's a fast communication. It can be via, you know, a phone call even, or for some of you, should you be connected, I want to say locally, somehow it can be in person, but it can also be a message. Mercury is oftentimes connected to reading and writing, but this is the King of Cups coming in here, reaching out. And I tell you, they're coming in in, a, in an emotionally available way. It's really different. Maybe it's the old situation or it's a whole, totally new way, but they're coming in here. They want to restart things, and this is also connecting to the fifth chakra, the truth. The Empress, of course, is divine feminine energy. Taurus energy, Venus, the planet of love. She has access to all the elements, water, air, earth, and fire. Being able to grow anything, abundance here, new beginnings. It's just really, really clear that your person is coming back in here. And I'm hearing, this is what I'm hearing. Look what's here, that it's going in, you know, it's a bottoms up here. So first of all, look, here's the emperor, the empress and the emperor. Yeah, this is long-term connection energy. It's, it's a validation here of that. And yeah, this emperor has been holding back some emotions. We see that. But they're also coming forward here. The connection between you. It's not surprising to me why there's been a little bit of power struggle here. That's coming through with the... Hangman energy, because we are seeing the emperor and the empress, divine masculine energy, divine feminine energy. So it's the balance of the energies between you, the balance, I want to say, also within your person, the divine feminine, divine masculine energy balance. The song here is representative of that, the yin-yang energy. And, well, yeah, for some of you, again, this is twin flame communication. I want to be clear that 
it's not going to be that for everybody. I know that it's not a twin flame reading. It's, you know, whatever's coming through. So that's coming through for some of you. It's not for everybody, but it's clear that things haven't been moving. There's been a delay. And that's what I wanted to say with the sun in reverse. So the thing is, this doesn't stay in reverse. This is a temporary energy. So it's a, I want to say a delayed gratification, you know, of waiting for a particular outcome. And it's, it's coming here. We see that. It's a matter of timing here. This Again, this does not stay in reverse. Look what's coming here, right, in, right connecting with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse in the Empress. So, yeah, and that came through in the Five of Cups in reverse. So for some of you, there were some things that were said that were not really very nice or even just holding back in communication the five of swords here venus and aquarius energy and it's in reverse so this is like making peace energy and it's connecting with the nine of pentacles in reverse so like the setbacks you know some maybe some signs of things kind of breaking down or some separation going on here when that was happening and it can be around for some of you around some jealousy really interesting. It's not going to be for everyone, but you do see three people here in this energy. And it's the sword energy. It's transactional clarity information, and it's in reverse, and they're wanting to make peace with that. And it is connecting with the five of cups in reverse. And of course, the five of swords, the five of cups connecting us with the throat chakra and communication here. So apologetic energy in this king of, uh, excuse me, this emperor, I do feel like has been holding back a lot. It can be for some of you that it's an older man. You know, that comes through. It doesn't mean that it is for everybody. But this is divine masculine energy. And again, we all have divine masculine and divine feminine feminine energies within us. But the emperor is kind of used to getting things their own way. So that's kind of changing here. Interesting. They are worried. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. It's the Ace of Pentacles in reverse here. So they are worrying about it. Here, look, it's, it's like literally what's on their mind here in the Hangman energy card and connecting here with the forgiveness. So it can be for some of you that this possibly, whether the, there was arguing or not in person or in messages or just the discord, whatever happened, that it was around something in, and I want to say another pentacle, okay? And it can be romantic, but it can be a lot of things because I also see there's maybe some jealousy here, but it can even be around money or work, third party type of connections, or even just the differences between you, cultural, religious differences, distance, the 10 of wands coming here in reverse. And that is a Jupiter, well, Jupiter and Sagittarius energy, the king of wands in reverse, it's the new cycle. You know, look, it's like approaching the, well, that's the journey of love for me. And yeah, Jupiter energy again, you know, it's what's, what's holding, it's a planet of prosperity and expansion and growth and movement. And it's been, you know, it's been stressful. That's what I want to say. And it's in reverse here. So it's a new cycle. It's putting that down. The King of Wands in reverse, you know, this is an energy of, of not really being totally ready. It's a minor arcana energy. And of course, energies, they change. They can, they will, and they do change. And in particular, with the minor arcana energy, it's, you know, one, one day you're ready and one day you're not. So we're, we're, we, are, we are going to keep that. And I want to do a little bit more. Uh, I want to move the energy some more. And then we're also going to bring in some oracle and some channeled love messages. So that's connecting here with the moon energy. It's where it wanted to go. We, we still don't have an overall energy. Sometimes they come, by the way, and sometimes they don't. It can't even be that it's a channeled song message or an oracle card, just depending on what I'm bringing in in each reading. Anyway, we'll come back to that. But this King of Wands in reverse is here with the moon in reverse. And again, it's around all the emotions, but it's also the clarity and it's the truth coming. It's just telling us that, and it's around their emotions. Look at this. It's really strong via communication, whether it's a message or a call. It's an apology and it's the truth of how they feel. And it's an apology. It's really clear. It's a little bit delayed here. You can see that also. There's a, val a strong validation with the sun in reverse. But we also see it's a matter of timing here with the Empress. The divine, divine timing, 
communication and growth here. So it is just a matter of timing, but it has been delayed. How long have you been waiting? Bottom of the deck, the Six of Cups. Sun and Scorpio energy. So they have definitely got you on their mind. There's a lot of nostalgic energy here. They've got a reunion on their mind. We see here, again, the communication. So whether you're coming together in person or it's just uh, messages or phone calls, it's very much on their mind and it does look like it's coming in. Sun and Scorpio energy. I want to tell you, can be that you've known your person for many, many years, some of you, even since childhood, can also just feel that way. And yeah, it does come through here for some of you on a twin flame journey, soulmate energy. It's a soul connection. That's what I want to tell you. So whatever journey you feel that you're on, you can see that your, your tie here with your person is quite strong. And it's really, you know, I'm looking down here at the, the emperor and the empress here. And again, it's this long-term energy together. So whether that's real-time connection again for some of you going back years or it's the soul connection, it's really clear that you are, it's the you are meant to meet energy, meant to be strong. You're my person energy here. Really strong, actually. And I want to put this here. And as I say that, I'm looking over at the deck excuse me, and seeing what's just waiting here to be seen, and it's the Two of Cups. But yeah, this is what's going here. Venus and Cancer energy, there's a lot of love between you. More validation of the soul connection here. A decision being made and quite possibly an offer. So is the offer just asking for forgiveness and sharing how they feel? Maybe. You've been waiting for it for a long time. And... Yeah, there. I feel like there's been some power struggles here. So do I feel like they're, they're taking the first step? I do. And they may not ha have been. Look, you can see their foot kind of going backwards here. Somebody's going backwards yet reaching out and somebody else is just holding steadfast, you know, looking straight on here, wearing a wreath, like reunion energy, looking, holding on tightly to the cup, you know. So the truth here needs to come and I do feel that the truth is coming. And they might be coming here with an offer. Sometimes this can be proposals of marriage. Does that mean that somebody's coming in here, your person, with an offer of marriage? Maybe for some of you, it's not going to be for everybody. But proposal energy can be talking again, let's meet. It can be a lot of things. So at the bottom of the deck is the Ten of Cups. There's something peeking out here. We'll look at that in just a moment. Mars and Pisces energy. Yeah. Nine of Cups wish fulfillment. That's right. I was thinking, where did that other cup go? That's the King of Cups. Holding on to the cup here with the Nine of Cups, bringing us into the Ten of Cups. So were you in the Ten of Cups? Were you working toward that or was it on the table? Because it's really back on the table. So I think this is also somebody coming in with with something on their mind, not just asking for forgiveness, but a new start. Building a family together for some of you, that's going to be different for everybody what that means. Some of you might even already have one together, or that's just an energy coming in, you know, not for everybody, but building a life, yeah. And does that mean blending families, introducing families? That will be different for everybody, but this is a new cycle. It's a renewal here. There's a lot of hope. It's going right here with the Two of Cups. It's bringing in the Nine of Swords in reverse, the Knight of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. Wow. Okay. So I just want to show you the energy. It's Gemini and Mars energy. There's a lot of, you know, not sleeping very well, being in your head here, anxiety. It's coming in reverse. So they're definitely hopping out of this Hangman energy. I think getting everybody out of this energy. And look what else is here. It's the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Six of Cups, the King of Cups, the Nine of Cups. Is that also what they're bringing here? Is this kidding us into the Ten of Cups? It is. Is this, there's hope for it here. There's a lot of potential for that here. So what does that Ten of Cups mean for you? You know, is that talking again? Is it 
putting it back on the table for the future? Is it coming back right together? Blending families, introducing families, because they're definitely coming in here with communication and an offer. Knight of Cups energy, Scorpio and Pluto energy, holding on to that cup. It's quite emotional here. And well, yeah, you see the emotional energy here. This is the Prince, 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 Princess charming energy. But you know what else this is? It's proposal energy. And boy, do they have a lot to say as well here in this Knight of Swords who really can't get in here fast enough. And that's also that Eight of Wands energy, Five of Cups in reverse, asking for forgiveness energy, the truth coming to you, that Queen of Swords that we saw, the new, the clean slate energy and the full energy and making peace here. This is really very clear. So this conversation or what they're coming in here to say and offer is going to change everything. Knight of Swords, Libra and Mercury energy, of course. This is going here with the King of Cups and the Nine of Cups. The Knight of Swords. The last card coming through is the Seven of Cups in reverse. Venus and Scorpio energy, really interesting. So here's the thing, when it, when it was here. Is this all of this with your person? Is it just around commitment issues or other things? Whatever the case may be, that's the clarity that we also see here in the moon in reverse and the truth coming. This is the clarity that they have as well. So it's having come out of this stuck energy of what, what they want, what they want to say, what they want to come in here and offer. There's very clearly a connection here. Still a lot of love here, I feel. I mean, it's just really clear, actually. I want to bring in some oracle. I'm shuffled and ready to go. I want to look at the bottom of the deck and then we're going to just move it around some more. So trust is wanting to show all is as it should be. So 35, that's coming to an eight. That's a number of action. There's karma there, working out some karma. Of course, infinity, the balance. Coming from a place of balance, divine feminine, divine masculine energy within ourselves but also then to bring that forward to another here in the connection balancing out a renewal of the energy a whole new a, a renewal a new start look here it's around matters of the heart with the with the haze with the bunny with the rabbit fertility new beginnings here holding on to fire in the hand interestingly enough of course it's a really fast energy it's a passionate energy it's matters of the heart this Stork here is kind of flying by. What do they have on their back? Is, what is that on their back? So it's messages and look at the path here leading to to the sun. It's through the through even the quietness and the stillness for, for some of the no communication, but leading here to the sun. And that's bringing in temperance energy. Lighting the way to the truth, the highest and the best Whoa. path. Gosh, I just opened my eyes and saw that the camera wasn't recording. That's so frustrating. I was about to say as these came out that I'm not reading Oracle in reverse. Did it get the trust energy? I sure hope so. Coming through, that was at the bottom when we picked up the deck. And yeah, I mean, rebuilding trust, trusting in in the connection and then this came in intuition inner wisdom trusting in yourself trusting that's bringing in high priestess energy trusting yourself your intuition your gut instincts your guardian angels look at all the divine energy here it's incredible and the owl by the way is um just for reference is a scorpio and the owl is about inner transformations self-actualization course connected to the divine information wisdom so both what your person is receiving what they're bringing and what you both will be accessing when you decide where you're going here around it's around the, the partnership look it's a 20 of course coming to a two it's also connecting with judgment in many ways clarity decisions life purpose so i'm not sure if this came through but it's trusting in yourself and yeah, putting your trust in, in this connection, in what's coming in. What do you want? 
bright future, the darkest hours just before the dawn. I love this. It's uh, This is sliding off, by the way, so that's yours. And then we're going to channel a little bit more and bring in some channeled love messages. So this is the six, of course, and that's restoring harmony. It's healing energy. You can see the healing energy here. Faded connection. Look at all the star energy here. And releasing... Is that a... Is, is, I mean, I just feel so silly. It's <laughs> kind of having a brain fart instead of stork sending out a message. But it's hermit card energy too, you know? Kind of holding in the star energy, which you can see here, the renewal, the hope, the clarity, having faith that things will be as they should be, all is as it should be coming in here with trust. So it is a really strong message, message excuse me, of trusting that spirit has a plan and what's for you is for you and what's what's not is not and again trusting in yourself and and what is for you and the decisions you want to make because you have free will everyone has free will i really love this it's like a messenger flying off here look the stars sort of trailing off and bright future that's also world card energy and where things are going, balance, light and dark. The darkest hour is just before the dawn. So this is coming out of that duality energy. And it's really bringing in a lot of judgment energy. The clarity, the decision, the wake-up call, the balance of the divine feminine, divine masculine energies. Of course, coming out of that duality, manifesting abundance here, manifesting this connection and manifesting as well the four areas of support and stability, mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual. So because what is that? What are, what are the, well, the four areas of support? They go on the foundation. Without them, it's just a foundation, isn't it? Which is susceptible to third party, to interference by the elements, third parties, whatever. So it's everybody being there, everybody coming from a place of balance, divine feminine, divine masculine energies within each other. I want to say yourselves and then also bringing that together for truth and clarity. We're never all perfectly balanced, but it is, of course, what we hope for and what is really important when we're trying to make decisions and make decisions, whatever they are, but around relationships and where, what we want to do. This is really beautiful for you. I really like this a lot. And I want to look at the bottom of the deck. Then we're going to bring in some channeled love messages. Your path. Have courage to follow your own path. It's really strong messages for you and what is for you. Look, it's a 36. So that's things coming to fruition, attainment and fulfillment. And we see that there's an opportunity here for the two of you to communicate and well, yeah, see where things are going here. Trusting in yourself and what's for you and what you want. It's just really very, very strong. Okay, I want to bring in some channeled love messages. Messages from, excuse me, their higher self. And today I want to bring in the heart messages. Messages from their higher self. Messages from your person. You are my destiny. I'm sorry. That's the five of cups in reverse. And that's also what they're bringing here in this cup. That's the thing. Nine of cups. You know, bringing six of cups, nine of cups. Um, knight of cups as well. King of cups. Ten of Cups. There's a lot of Cups going on here. We're going past the Ten of Cups. But that's definitely what I feel is coming in here too. It's also here in the Six of Cups. It's in the Knight of Cups. Most definitely in the King of Cups. There is a lot of apologetic energy here. They are asking for forgiveness. I will always love you. Love you only you. I miss you. Going here with trust, intuition, and the King of Cups. I'll tell you about this in a minute. Thinking of you now. I 
I made a song playlist. Musical connection really strong here. Listening to music, I wish you were mine. I think that's definitely changing. And we met for a reason. Fate and destiny, look at that. You are my destiny, we met for a reason. Serendipity. Yeah, that's bringing in Wheel of Fortune energy. There is a turning point here very much, and I feel like it's coming in the way of communication, whether it's a message or a phone call, whatever that is. So this is like a wild heart. It's There's nothing on it. It's a message that you want to send telepathically or a message that you're hoping to receive. I'm just going to hold it here for a moment, what's coming to you. putting it with intuition. And I want to bring in a little bit of, a little bit more channeled love messages here. Do you think of me too? You are my person. Please forgive me. Five of Cups in reverse. That really wanted to come through because that was really one of the first energies coming into your reading today that has been steadfast throughout. So they are asking for forgiveness. I'm so sorry I hurt you, so that is why. Beautiful soul, that's your reading today. It was really beautiful. It's one of these readings where I just want to keep diving in, but I'm going to close the reading. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. I enjoyed your reading very much, and I hope you did too. And if you did, I would really appreciate it if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. Make sure you have your notifications on so you know when I am uploading, when readings are coming. I'm sending you so much love and light, hoping for the best outcome for you. I wish you well, and I look forward to seeing you at another love reading. Until then, bye.